I'm excited that we get to get our chat going. I wanted to stay committed to Women's Wednesdays. Um, yeah. The house. I got to give some shout outs. So Women's Wednesdays, as I mentioned earlier, this is for it is a chance for us women to connect from all over the world in this crazy time that we're living in and going through right now. Being um, As it is a very unique time and I... I'm sure I, when I say this, I say this to everyone that this is somewhat of an outer body experience being and having to live like this. Like none of us um, expected this to happen. One second, I gotta go close the door. I, people are talking loud in my background. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Come right back, don't hang up. Okay, this is really alive as you guys see. All right. Um, but like I was saying, um, you know, none of us expected for this moment to happen that's happening. But I think there's um, as challenging of a time it may seem that we're all experiencing. I think that there is a lot of positives um, that are happening in this moment. Um, on my spirit, I just kind of felt the feeling and thought of how sometimes it's okay to slow down. Sometimes we need to slow down, right? This world is, was moving so fast. And I feel like it's going to always be moving pretty fast, especially now with technology. But the positives are like being able to be home with my kids more than I normally get to. Um, that is a treat for me. And then also with my honey uh, more than normal, too, because he, um, you know, will be coming up with his schedule on his schedule. He'll begin to OTA soon. And then once that happens, he's dialed in and then the kids would have been in school and um, it just would have been like you know, the usual, which sometimes less time is spent with each other. So I think that there's a lot of positives that are happening from this time that we're living in. I think the greatest thing of all um, that stands out is love, um, that, you know, it's a chance for us, it's a chance for our love to go greater, um, you know, in these situations. And it's kind of the one thing that we can stand on that is reliable. Um, whether it's with our family, the FaceTimes with my friends, I'm FaceTiming with my girls more than often, me and Yoli, you guys know Yoli, my makeup artist, my best friend since I was 16 years old. Um, and also Lala, we've been FaceTiming every day. Um, so it's a treat, you know. Um, but basically, Women's Wednesdays, as I said to you guys, I think it's a chance for us, the community of women, to come together and chat. And the thing for me is that I love, I am a girl that loves girl talks. Like, I love, like, when I go to the hair shop to get my hair done or if I'm getting my nails done, um, that we chat. Like, us girls, we're just chatty catty, and we love talking about everything from, like, life to love to challenges to even friendships, like, just all kind of things. That's just the nature of a woman. Um, and so I thought it'd be cool to start doing this thing called Women's Wednesdays where I get to chat with you all and especially women from all over the world um, to hear like any questions you may have, any thoughts you may have, any stories you may have, anything that we can all relate to because we all go through some of the same things. We just have our way of um, our stories to tell about. We have different stories to tell about those same things, whether it's life, whether it's love, um, whether it's uh, relationships, whether it's, uh, I said that, love, relationships, same thing. Whether it's love, whether it's business, um, friendships, we all go through some of the same things um, as women. And so it's fun to be able to talk about those things. And then obviously being pregnant, um, there's a lot of fun talks about that um so this is going to be a fun time women's wednesdays i'm going to do my best to stay committed to these wednesdays um for us to chat and just talk about life and i kind of i'm going to start today off with like three topics that i was kind of feeling and vibing on during the time of and those three things that i had were um all right one are you getting tired of your spouse right now while you're in Hmm. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. Uh, but I'll tell you what I think. Uh, there are two with self care. Like, what is a self care game right now? Self care game like right now for everybody. For me, my nails, my feeling is like this toe up. As we would say from the south, toe up from the flow up. 
Can you see? I'm almost to a half inch of like the gap for the fill in. Uh, what, what's going on? We losing, um, as I like to say. And then Sienna obviously painted these two nails. So that's just mommy swag, which I'm all for right now. We can be a little, you know, just not so neat in that regard. But the spill in though is just, is killing me. Um, so I want to talk about that self care. And then the third topic I had was what is your new norm? What is like now that we're in this situation? With trying to figure out how to survive every day um, or just how to thrive, not even survive, but just trying to figure out how to keep things going. And like some of us have, you know, businesses that still run from home and, um, you know, what is your new norm and how you're thriving right now and how you are surviving actually? Um, because the reality is um, as much as things are stopping in a way that we can't control, the world keeps spinning and we also have obligations and we also have commitments, you know, and um, I know some people also have been unfortunate, you know, to, it's been unfortunate for some that um, don't even know what their commitment is going to be. So, again, I think this is a chance for us to all learn about what we're all going through um, right now and how we're just figuring out this time that we're in. And I'm excited to connect with you guys. So I'm seeing some people that are chatting here. All right. Shout out to Risha B. Um, also, I want to shout out the fellas too, because I think that there's a good chance. I want to hear from fellas too, at some points on women's Wednesdays. Like I want to hear what, what guys, you know, think some time about us women. And like, of course I, Russ always has his opinions and his ways of breaking things down. And I love hearing how he breaks thing, things down. Um, so it'd be fun to hear him say, ask some questions to us ladies. Um, but also if there's male men that are tuning in, you guys are also part of this too, I guess, in reference to learning more about us and us also trying to hear what you guys like talking about. So anyways, I am going to start off with topic number one. Are you getting tired of your spouse is the question. I was talking to some of my friends the other day and they were just saying like, you know, I was really, my husband's always on the go and I was just like, um, you know, kind of like, man, I wish we could have more time together. And, um, you know, they were like, I wish that, you know, he wouldn't travel as much, blah, blah, blah. And now because they're like stuck, like they're like in the house, like all the time that she wanted, she's having. And she's like, ah! like, oh my gosh, like it's turned up. Like literally they had to like divide areas in their house for their office you know, um, to be their office spaces. Like one of, one of my close male friends was saying how his wife walked in the room. Um, he was having some business meetings on the camera and his wife walked in the room. And he was like, ah, not right now. Like not up in this room. Like this is my office right now. This bedroom, la, uh, bedroom is officina. And I don't make any sense right now, but you guys see what I'm trying to say. So, um, I want to know, um, is I want to know, um, is some people getting tired of their spouses right now? What's going on? How are you figuring all that out? And for me, I can tell you guys, I can't lie. I'm actually really enjoying this time with my love, with Russ, because um, we don't get to do like how we're doing all the time. Like I say, when he's in football and I'm rolling in music and everything else that I'm trying to do, oftentimes, not often, but a good bit of the time, we're both kind of like, we're, we're, we're kind of like our schedules are going like this. So we're always trying to find the moment for it to go like this. And like, it's always like organized chaos. So, um, I'm actually enjoying this time. I'm not tired of my love yet. Um, little cheesy thing. I was going to go work out today and we have a gym with luck. Thank God we have a gym here and our home gym. And I was going to, um, go down to the gym to, work out. Our, our schedule is kind of, we're, we're not a lot like our, his, he's doing the gym before I'm doing the gym. So I was going to go down, um, to work out. And I was thinking I would pass him along the way. And then he was like already doing something else. And I was like, I was really looking forward to seeing him, you know? So I'm a little mushy that way, but I do think the balance for us is that everything that we're doing at home is not necessarily happening simultaneously all the time. Like, we're not always doing everything together. And I think that kind of a, gives us a chance to miss each other while we're in this house together um, every day, 24 seven. So yeah. Okay guys, well, um, I'm gonna wrap it up for Women's Wednesdays, um, but this was really fun chatting with you all. 
Um, I had no idea where my conversations would go today. And I think we got to kind of all see um, how a lot of us are, we're going through this together. Um, and everybody's walk is different. Um, and it's amazing to see how, uh, like I say, God builds us. We're built for adversity. Each and every one of us, we're built for it. So you got to um, always know that and remember that. And, um, you know, it may feel like this time is dragging and dragging. I will tell you, it feels like it's dragging and dragging for me too. Um, but I have faith. Um, we got to keep our faith strong. And God bless all the women that are out there trying to make it happen right now that are figuring out ways to sustain and to take care of not only themselves, but their families. Um, like Tiffany Nicole, who I talked to earlier, who was taking care of her mom. Um, God bless you, you know. Um, and to Princess, who I just, to women who I just talked to, like Princess, who has a child that has diabetes type one um, and actually sacrificed and stopped working uh, a year ago to take care of her kids. So, um, you know, I have faith through this moment and we will make it through this tough time together. And, um, you know, us women, like I say, um, God has given us a special gift of many different things. He's given us the gift of strength. Um, the ability to overcome. He's given us the gift to um, of intuition. Um, he's given us many gifts. And so I'm looking forward to more Women's Wednesdays and we can all talk with each other and um, learn more about our community and um, all of our, uh, share our thoughts and all the things that we um, go through and especially during this time. So I hope you guys had fun today. I had a good time with you all. Um, you guys are the best. Okay. All right. Cece loves you. Peace out. See you on the next Women Wednesdays more to talk about, more topics. Be ready to answer when I call you. Okay. Bye.